All right, we've been looking at Vutka number 72. We've been talking about the Toile Ho techniques, Toile Ho Fut, because they're monastery techniques, and how all this stuff relates. We also remember we talked about the angles. So far, we've only looked at the base technique, which was written coming from the front, coming right down to center line. What we're going to do now is we're going to start looking at some of these other angles and how they relate to entrance. Because with the center line, as long as we stayed in the center line, you know, if we just used a clean entrance, very, very straightforward, then we did what we did last time, and we worked through that. But now we're going to look at what if we were able to walk in from different angles. What does that present to us as being able to use different kinds of entrances? And getting back to this grab, whipping his neck around, doing what we did before. Okay, the base technique, as you recall, I was walking up. I walked up, placed my right foot, look how close. Came up, did a hammer forearm strike, he comes down, I hook it, I grab face. Okay, and as I step back with my right foot, I whip him up and around, I step in with my left right here. I hammer him on the bridge of the nose, and I can just let him drop. I can drop my knee, punch right down to the ribs. Okay, let's do that one more time. Put through a little more fluid. So I'm coming up, I want to hook it. Step, yeah, hey, yeah, just like so. Okay, there's our base technique. Now, if we consider this being the front, we can come in from the right or the left. Let's go ahead and start from this side first. So he's facing here. What I want to be able to do is get him into that same position in that headlock and get his face with that claw with my left hand. So footwork's going to vary. Now I'm going to be stepping forward with my right foot and placing it just right here and I'm going to step through with my left foot. Shielding with my left hand. Now it's going to be more like a crane technique. Like so. Okay, I'm going to be hitting with my forearm to the side of his neck. Okay, now watch what I do. I'm bringing here, now this hand is my insurance policy, my shield, just in case something happens. If he goes and lifts his hand, he sees me coming. Yeah! See what I did? So this is my guard. So as I step in, if he grabs, see what I'm doing? This still comes through, look where my hand is. It's right where I want it to be. Okay, so I'm stepping through. Right foot, left foot comes through as I shield. I hit, he comes down, I grab. Now I step back with my right foot. I step in with my left, yeah, and I do my technique. Okay, let's do that again. Watch what's happening. Just like that. Okay, and it's, it's a strike. Very hard strike against his neck. And look where it takes his head. Right here. I step back. Yeah. Okay. Now, notice the footwork goes from here to here to here. Before, what we did was here. Here and here. Okay, so slightly different. Coming in from the side. Okay, let's have you turn around and face, yeah, face this way. Now, or let's do that facing, having you face the direction. Now I'm coming in from this side. Now, how do I want him turned? Think about it. I want him here, right? with me here, but I'm coming in from over here. How can I get there in one move? Sometimes it's a matter of moving him, not me. Because I could come around here, but he's not going to let me do that in most cases. But what I could do is step in with my right foot here, 
step this way with my left foot. This time it's palm up. And this time it's across this side of his neck here. When I step, this time I'm shielding here, right here. Right across the throat, he bends over. I'm here. Watch what I'm doing. So now this time, instead of doing it like this, like this. Why? Because what I want to do is catch him here, here. Now I step back. And there's my technique. Okay, let's go through it slow. Again, the shield is here in case he raises that hand. Right across the throat, knocking him over, hooking it. Stepping back, stepping in, laying him here. Strike. Any questions? How are you grabbing with your, his chin or uh, with your right hand after the chop? Uh, sometimes under the chin, sometimes I'm just hooking it with my forearm. The key is really what you're doing with the face. Okay? But yeah, you can be hooking under the chin. We talked about that in the last sessions that we did. The last. So watch what I'm doing. Watch the steps. Right here. So I'm walking in. Right here. Look at this hand. I'm protecting myself here. This hand will go right around to the face, my left hand. So when I'm walking in, boom, right here. And then as I come around, yeah, just like so. Okay. So if he's facing here, watch what I'm doing. Look at it from this angle. I'm walking in. Here, look, grab, step back, strike. Okay. Now, from the back, let's do a facing, him facing this direction. Here's the back. Back, very simple. What I'm doing is I'm walking up again with my right foot, stepping through with my left foot here. Now, if you look at all of these techniques, we'll look back at all these in a second, but consider his center, which is right here. Look how it's the third point of my triangle every time I do this. Here. Here. If I put my hand here, right where his center is, there's the triangle. Watch where my arm strikes. This time, I'm again hitting palm down hitting across the back of his neck and the right side, the right back quarter of his neck, just hooking it. And I'm bringing his head forward this time, almost straight forward. Again, shielding here, strike. Bring it down, grab. Step back, watch where I step. Step, step, strike. This one's pretty aggressive here. It's just slamming him in the base of the skull, the back of the neck. If I'm coming in, here, here, come back, yeah, yeah. Strike. Let's look at that from the other side so you can see that facing the other way. I'm walking in, right here. That's where my arm's going. Stepping through, here, here. Any questions? It's all footing. It's how you step, it's positioning is what we're looking at here. But again, he's standing there, watch when I go through the triangle. Right here. So when I hit here, it's right through that circle, right here. Look how this is right in my center. Okay? Now, when I come in from this side, same thing is happening. Watch what I'm doing. I'm here. When I step through, right? When I step through, I'm here. Right here. He comes down. Where's his center? It's the third point of my triangle. So when I walk through, boom, he's down here. We're right back to our center again. Okay? When I come back from this side, 
same things happen. I step here, I come palm up this time. Step through. Now where's the third point of the triangle? It's going to be a little bit further back. Why? Because I want to move him. Boom, he comes back. See where he ends up? So right here, right where his center ends up. And that's really the secret on that one, is I'm moving him more than taking his center. See where I am here? I want his center to be here when I'm done. So when I come through, boom, hit him right here. Then he's right here. We can finish with the technique. Okay. Okay, in regards to positioning, he may come in, I may come here and hit him here, ribs. Now I'm coming in from the back, am I not? Right here. And then my technique, yeah, right here. Look how simple that entrance becomes. This is from Dopka. Which, which basic 45 technique did that come from? Four. Number four, correct. So if I use that entrance, say he comes in, yeah, and I knock him over, and then I hit him in the ribs, where's his head going to go? Yeah, right here. There's my technique. I can go right over, yeah, hook it, claw, whip him back, yeah, and do my technique just from there. So it creates a completely different entrance. Now I'm on the outside coming in. Okay? Now, if he comes with this other hand, I may step over here and just do an up windmill. I can hit right to his liver as I go outside. Right here. Yeah! Right there. Now look what I've got. I can just do an up forearm, palm up forearm, and that is going to really, it's going to move him. He's here. That's going to move him here. And as I do that, I hook him, I grab it, and I whip him back the other way. Let's take a look at that. He's coming in. Yeah. When I strike him, yeah. step back and hit him. You've got to be careful. This will break his neck. Very dangerous. Okay, but look at this entrance. Now I'm on this other side. He's coming in. Now look at my position here. This would be as if I was walking in from the side. How did I get there? By going outside and hitting here. Striking him, hooking, stepping back, bringing him in, and strike him on the nose and finish your technique. Okay. So really coming from the side again, see if I come here, I hit him here. Yeah. This would be like coming from the back, right? Or coming from the side. Because suppose he comes here and I just block here. And I just hit him in the ribs right here. Look how simple that becomes. He comes in, I get out of the way, down windmill, yeah. hit him right here. I bring him back, do my technique. Those are pretty much basic, basic entrances off of those three entrances where we walked in for the food kiss. All right? So again, he comes in, I block. Now, let me show you what this block is first. Come slow. I'm going like this, hooking with my fingers, getting underneath his triceps with my open-handed forearm, peeling back as I peel forward and up, not to break his arm, but to lift him. And you move his ribs around where I can hit him. Hit him. See, now I can go get my technique, get my grab. So one more time on that. Here. Yeah. Now I can just step here and get him. The other one we did was same punch, block, hit him in the ribs. Now all I have to do is just reach over, get it. You can't.
came from the other side and I ended up over here. Yeah. Hit him in the liver. Right here, I would hit him with the open hand. He shoots over. I grab it and I take him back the other way. Do that one again. Yeah. Right here, and then it's just boom. Right here, step back, grab him, hit him, and let him up. That's getting rough on his back and his neck, so I think we're gonna call it quits. Any questions on anything to do with this? This is just a few basic ways to enter in, right? And it's based on those four directions of entrance with the movement. Okay? We'll do this with more techniques so you kind of have an understanding of how to use this stuff. Okay? Come on up, let's do it.